Yep, that looks perfect. I put the cap off with the black. Oh, okay. This way it was kind of ready for you. I left you extra just so if there's ever an issue. Okay, so I'll fold this slack down in then. And the upstairs one's all mounted at you. Okay, good. Ah. Uh, now cool. upstairs, Dave. Yeah. I ran the wire up underneath the heater. Yeah. On the bottom. Oh. Uh, down by the floor. Yeah. And then brought it up too. Oh. Uh, so it's hooked up for the uh single end. Oh. I'll show you when we get up there. Okay. Because there's a hoop underneath this yeah, right here. Yeah. That I put it up underneath. Oh, I hope that doesn't get that doesn't get hot down there though, right? Why would it? How else would you do it? You wouldn't. Because it's too hard to hook it up to the one with four wires, right? Oh yeah, it's easier to put up to two rather than four. Definitely. I mean it's in its casing. Yeah. So it should be fine. I mean there's a good inch and a half space. Oh, okay. Of dead space. Mm-hmm. Up underneath. Mm-hmm. And the heat's only gonna come right here. Right. You know what I mean? So it's got the metal blocking it anyhow. Oh, okay. Well look at this is all metal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is our thermostat. Do you need anything else from me right this uh, time? nope, I'm, right. I'm good. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna just Hi Teresa. Okay. So I've got to look at our diagram here, make sure we do the right wires, the black and the... You want me to take this cover off so you can trace the wood oh, for what? No, there's different ones here. The one with... There's the one with the four wires, so... I believe it's on your right top. Right. No, that's... That's a two, a two... There it is. Right there, so... Okay, the black. Oh, okay, so the power goes into the two black wires, or to the reds, and the power goes out to black. Hey, I guess you have the instructions right down there. Yeah, the so the, those are the two red wires. Black and white from the power go to the red, and the two blacks go to the load. And then the, yeah, that's the instructions for the thermostat there. Okay, so we have the two black... So or the done. black and white coming from the power going to the two red wires and the two black wires from the thermostat go to the load side of the uh, heater. Okay, so... You need the other end cover off so you can see which no, goes no. to which? No, that stay end just stays on. Yeah, but you're going to need to know which wire goes to which, aren't you? No, the thermostat goes here. Dave. Yeah. I understand that, but the black wire, this one that carries over to the other side. Yeah, that's th this one up here. Which is what? It goes just over to the other side. I understand that, yeah, Dave. We'll look at it. That's what I'm saying. So you're going to need the other cover off. Yeah, go ahead and take it off. Okay. I need that Phillips set right there. Okay, Phillips. All right, there you go. Because before you hook that up, you need to know what's going to go into the here. Correct? Yeah. Okay, so take our ground wire here. Alright, so see Dave? They're just uh, this one here is the one that carries over. Yeah, which is the one going down to this. Yeah, so that it so that it doesn't really matter because they're just it does matter. Because It has to matter, Dave. These wire nuts are just there to... I understand right. that, but read your diagram. Right, but that's... There. Yep. I trust you, but I want to make sure it's right before okay. we... Now, uh, Dave, I want... Right, let me go ahead. Okay. I left that much slack in there, so if there's ever an issue, we're not sure what I'm waiting. Yeah. Now you just cut... A little bit off. Five inches off. Yeah. But having too much wire folded up in there. Cook okay, Dave. Yeah. What you got to do? Okay. Do. 
Whoops. See, where'd my Phillips go? I was just. No, I didn't touch it. It's fine right there. Okay. That's why I told you I had all that. Thing. Yeah. But I. Well, I'm, whoops, there's our green screw. We're going to take a little bit of ground wire. This is actually factory work that came apart with the crimp on wire nuts. We're going to get our two wires even here. I'm going to wrap these. Good thing I caught that, huh? Yeah. That wouldn't have been good. <laughs> that's amazing factory work, isn't it? Yeah, that's why we check everything, I guess. Yes. There, we fixed a little factory work. Okay, so we'll use uh, yellow caps here for our thermostat, the wing ones. So our black and white from the line. All right, go up to go up here. Okay, closing up that end. We put our get our wires even here. Put our black and white to the. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna look at the diagram again. Black and white from the from the uh, power is going to the two red wires. So we'll take our white and black from the power oh, and we'll put on the red wire here. Now you're gonna put a. Heater in for the whole house, though, right? Yes. This is just for the bathrooms. Yeah. They're doing the mini splits like we did at John's. Okay. And John Paul's? Yes. How is he doing? I think that. All right, from the best I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go take the covers off, both of them off there. Okay. There we go. There we go. There's even. is tight. Our insulation is going down in our wire nuts. Now our black wires coming back from the thermostat are going to go to our two black wires on the heater. Now these are looser strands, so I'll wrap them a little bit here. Get them set there. Even on the end here, copper even on the end, insulation even on the bottom. Put our wire nut on. Make sure our insulation is going up into the bottom of our wire nut. Okay, I'll wrap the strands around the uh, wire there. Get our insulation even at the bottom and our copper even at the top. Thermostat. Put it in the
So this cap comes off. Yeah, I just didn't cut it. Oh, okay. You wanted them on the single side, not the double. Right, the single side, yeah. Yeah, that's got just the single. Okay. So then when I get to the other boxes, we can do the lights and stuff outside. Oh, okay. Save the boxes downstairs, Dave, so you can see the feet you and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I put the uh, two ceiling fans in. I just got to get two more. Oh, okay. I had to get up in the attic and put a support in. Oh. You're good. Good. You got your wire caps up here? Yes. You need? Yes. Right yeah. Now remember that it's the one that goes to the thermostat. Yeah. Okay, so our. Black and white from the power. We go to our two well, red. both have power, don't they? Right. Black and white are both power. And they're going to go on our red wire here. Get our insulation even at the bottom and our copper even at the top here. Stick our wire nut on here. Make sure insulation is going up into the bottom of the. Okay. I'll be right down basement. Okay. Go out the front, go around the corner. Yeah. Two long screws should be plenty of attack. Yes. Yep. Oh, here's the owner's manual for the baseboard heater. Oh, okay, good. Get our insulation unit at the top and our copper even at the end here. Put our wire nut on. Dave, don't forget to grab the stuff you need for the basement. Yeah. Okay. You just need the ground flip and the three screw and the uh, two button, what, uh, red wire cap, right? Yes. Okay. I'll try that, Dave. 
Okay. All right. Get our insulation even at the bottom and our copper even on the end there. Insulation even at the top and our copper even on the bottom here. Put our wire nut on. Make sure our wire nut is tight. We'll look at this diagram here and see how they wired it on this one. Okay. That's the same as one we looked at downstairs. So let's make sure our caps are tight. How come this one doesn't feel like it's tightening? I'll take it off a little bit more. Back it off. See how that wire nut pushed it down? So I'm going to start it over again here. Like that. And I'll do it again. Gotta make sure the wire nuts are tight. Now it tightens. See how it tightened up? Okay, now we can put our thermostat into the box. We'll push our wires up. We'll fold our wire nuts back into our heater here. Turn it off. I redid that when the lip goes on the inside rather than the outside. Hold on, hold yeah. All right, grab a few staples. We are down to two more. That's all right. If you need me to, I can go run upstairs again. Well, we'll see if we need to. This is the last two? Yep. This light bulb's broke. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Also, sorry. All right, go over on this side, Jay. Hold the wire over oh, there. Just like hold it like that? Yep. Yeah. Do I need to do anything? Or? No. That would hurt. <laughs> oh, this is just a little short. So. You can pull it, Dave. Okay. Hang on, Dave. Yeah. How much do you need? Another maybe eight inches. Oh, Dave, there's no way. Come on. Don't go pulling it. I just told you that. Did that give you enough? Uh, yes. I was going to say, that ain't no eight inches. You got good there, Dave? 
There's a joke that I'm not going to do. So, Dave, I got a joke for you. Yeah. Oh. Do you know why women always have uh, flowers on the front of their panties? Why? And remember of all the faces that have been buried in it. Oh. That's a good one, huh, Dave? It's a funny one, huh? Oh, he's going to take it off. Huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, um, one of those fungus spiders I was talking about yesterday. There was one up there, and it was big, and I wanted to look at him, but I think he's, yeah, he's stuck in your hair. <laughs> it's dead, but they're all dead. The fungus means that they're dead. Alright, I'm going to stay full in my pocket. Oh, shit, you're going to need another Romex connection yes, for the break class. Yes, I am. Hey, Jake! Jake! J Grab one more Romex connector, too, bud. Grab one more of the oval things with the screws in it. Okay, do you want to eat? Oh, 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 shit. What's that, Dave? I, I see you.
So push this back into our box there. Yep. Get back out of the way and we'll take our tail. See, I can't fathom that. I just had that thing in my hand one minute ago. That little green clip. Uh, how did I know? Oh, you? I see it. I see it. That very nice one. We're going to put a ground clip on. So we leave our ground wire right here. Old oh, light switch. That thing is going to take down forever going that way. And that's okay. I hate old crap. Being alive. Put the little off here and bend it over. Dave, I'm going to knock this knock out here. Oh, okay. So then it can go right next to the... No, I'd rather go in the bottom so I can run it neater, see what I'm saying? Or we're going to put the breaker up higher, correct? Yeah, yeah, but I like to go... I always like going in the Inside bottom. Inside or outside? Outside. Five to six on Saturday for work, or five to nine on Saturday. So I got my insulation. I told you what time yesterday. Five. I think it's four. Oh yeah, because I set it to three. So my alarm is at three. So we got to be there before four. Insulation at the top here. Even way here. All right, uh, they can take care of the rest of Put the wires to even on the end here. This can go in here. This can be put here. How are you making out, David? Good, good. Eventually, I'll take this dying thing down. Well, I thought we were going to hook up the garage and tow it down. Dave. You know the four rod got destroyed. I mean, a new line into it. I'm not running four rod again. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay. No, it, it's too expensive. Oh. What gauge wire do we have to run for that box? Uh, just if we're doing just 50 amps, number six copper. The same thing we ran for the the stove heaters. The stove, but it. Words. Oh. What, Dave? Jake? What? Use your words. What? Sorry. The same as the stove size wire, but it had to be UF because it's going yeah. underground and outdoors. That'll run a garage door opener and yeah. compressor and stuff? Yeah. Our station at the bottom here. You take hand me that cover right there in that drill. The metal cover on the drill. The insulation at the bottom here. Oh, before we do that. Now that Dave has that all set, let me put the last few staples in up here. Uh, I'm going to need the phone from Jake. Crap. Put all right. All the way Just the put the phone up here. here. Sure, wires are uh, they're not going to be pinched anywhere. We're going to drag them apart. Can you see it well? Yeah. 
So we're going to put a 20 amp double coil breaker in. Right, that's got the cover on it. You can put two, two ground wires in one hole. Dave, what do we need for screws for this? Uh, 832s. The, You're talking Spanish, Jake, or Dave. Yes, they are. Do I have them in the toolbox upstairs? They're Romex connector screws, though. Those two screws will fit. But the, the, the number on them is 832. So two Romex connectors? Screws. Screws? Yeah. I don't think they're going to be long enough. Well, if you go in the hardware department. Well, one of these days I'll just bring you in, Dave. That should have been put up forever ago. You want to get a staple here? If I have any more left. Here we have one. Two. What do you want to do? Three. Jake, move your hand. Move, no, move your hand. Move yourself so I can see. I appreciate you turning up. You gotta be able to see. As soon as I was gonna put my hand up there, I'm like, eh, that's too close. Right behind you, Jake. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna bring our ground wire. Push it back. We'll get it down to this corner down here. And then we cross. All right, Jake, grab the tool. And we'll bring it down here. And then we'll bring it up along here. So we're gonna have to go in. Uh, you know, lock button in the back. I'm so we're going to cut it about over here and uh, put the tool in the far back. The tool in the back, far back of the truck. Right. Of the SUV. So you can put two wires in one hole. Jake, where are you going? The Denali. White wire. The SUV. In the far, far back. Both in. 
We've got them side by side. Both wires are through the hole. And tighten it up. And I'll just make sure it's going nice and flat along the side here. So we have them neat. Now we're going to bring our black and white up to our breaker here. So bring it up along our the white up along our side here. We'll come over and cut it right here. Make sure it's off. Put a wire in the hole there. Make sure the copper is butted up to the back of the, of the breaker. Tighten our screw. Make sure those other two breakers stay off. Yeah, the double holes. Right. Okay, so there's one. Bring our second layer up. Don't we close the trunk? No. Because Dave's got more stuff here that's got to go in there. Okay, so we'll cut this one down right here again. There's the right wing. Just a little top right off here. Alright, hang on, I'm gonna give you more. Yep. Get get this piece in the cleaned out. Alright, All right, take this. Make sure it's tight. Now the wires are nice and smooth here. For the bar breaker. All in the back of the thing. Right. And then there's yeah. two more pieces. All right, Dave. Yeah, I just want to see. So that is how to wire a 222 40 volt circuit here in the country. I was born and we used a 12 American wire gauge on a 20 amp circuit. And this is one example where a white wire would be live. Peace. Thanks for watching. All right, turn that on. Okay. Breaker.